quick little video here. You know, firing these Gustavs uh, can be pretty interesting. I'm just now. I'm just trying to struggling to find the card. Where'd the uh, data card go? Here it is. <clears throat> T62s are being fired at uh, from here and here. The first shot went in, and uh, we fired at the command vehicle. And I think I seem to recall you can target the command vehicle, but I'm not necessarily 100% certain. So I just said I was firing at the top unit. The top unit happened to be the command unit because it was the last unit that moved into the hex. Let's just accept that for what it is. And I fired and I shot. Uh, the, the T-62 on the hull front has 53 for its defense, right? Um, uh, for its uh, armor rating. And the Gustav has a penetration rate of 80, but it's a CE round. So that means that uh, these... These tanks here, we're going to multiply its light ERA. So we're going to multiply it by 1.6, which brings it up to, I think, 85 and round it off, right, to 85, which means they wouldn't hit. So, as always, good fun using variable penetration. We happen to roll extraordinarily well. So the first shot goes in with a uh, 88 versus an 85, so just knocks it out. The, the damage roll was a brew up, so that's all good. That forces uh, the command unit being killed, forces a morale check for everybody. Uh, top unit, I think you roll individually. The top unit uh, broke. Second unit is now on hesitate mode. So our second shot then goes in. We fire at this guy. Uh, once again, it's a hit, but it's a similar case where it's 80 versus uh, 85. And this time we got a plus 12 with our dice. It rolled extraordinarily well on the variable penetration table. I'm going to move the camera now because I'm not on a screen here. So bear with me. So on the variable penetration table, we go to the 81 to 90 column because that's the uh, value of the penetration uh, uh, firepower, right? And you can see that I have a plus, well, it's actually a maximum. Oh, here it is, 71 to 80. That's where I am. So I'm on the 80, and the maximum I can get is plus 12. Well, I rolled a 1 and a 2, and then I rolled a 5 and a 6. And so that allows me to get that uh, that plus 12 there and means that uh, it went up to a 92 versus an 85. Another brew up. So we're going to take a second tank off here. And that guy will, you know, technically he's got to roll for uh, a break again. And he rolls a 51. And if I look at the 51 real quick, I wasn't actually going to do this while we were here, but now I'm doing it. Yeah, so he's still a hesitate. <clears throat> there would be modifiers to that. Uh, he would get modifiers for cover, but then he's already in trouble there anyway. So he, he, he may well break. I'd have to look up the details to be exact. But nevertheless, you get the idea. So the Gustavs finally came through. It's the first time the Gustavs have actually uh, scored some hits and at a critical time. This has now moved the Soviets to, I said they had, uh, what did they have? They had nine, 10, I'm up to 11 cohesion points now. We're within breaking distance. And if we, let's just pull back here actually and take a, a bigger look. now. Once we finish this fire round, uh, you know, the fire phase, so we've got units here, over there, over there, and here, yet to go, or oh, there's another one there. If, you know, depending on what happens here, the only shots I've got left is this guy. Uh, he's not even going to bother trying to roll, unless he rolls extremely low. He's going to have massive penalties for being either broken or hesitating. So this could, that could be the game right there. We will see. I'll touch base with you later on.